Hi! Do you know how long I've been putting this off? Simply because I didn't know what I wanted my first video to be. So we're gonna keep it really casual today, okay? I don't know why. I film short form content all the time, so I'm not sure why this feels so different, but it does. It just does, so bear with me. Okay, today we're going to talk about products that have blown me away lately. I get to try a lot of product for my job, which is a blessing and a curse. It's a blessing because, duh, I get to try a lot of product and I get to find a lot of hidden gems. But it's a curse because it all sort of starts to blend together and it takes a lot for me to be impressed by a product. Like, I'll see something really hyped up and then I try it and I'm like, it's not that good, guys. Um, but let's talk about some things that are that good. Okay, let's go. Okay, so let's get into it. Now, of course, I have other favorites, but these are all things that have come into my world recently and that I've tried recently. So first is the Kosas Wet Wet Stick Lipsticks. So these are basically high shine pigmented lip balms. I'm wearing the shade 100 degrees today, and these are the perfect summer lip in my opinion. Like, they're always gonna be a perfect lip, but especially for summer, they are lightweight. They are so easy to throw on. This is like a purse lipstick. Um, you don't have to think about it when you apply it, and the colors are so beautiful. The regular lipsticks that came out this collection are also nice, but to me, the star of the show is the wet sticks, for sure. And the shade selection, too. They have such good neutrals. They have pinky shades. They have one that's a little bit more peachy, brownie nudes. They also have a berry shade, some red colors as you get deeper. I just adore these. I, I really can't say enough good things about them. Okay, next up, if you follow me on any other platform, TikTok, Instagram, you know that this is my obsession. It's probably so dirty. Should we even open it? Yeah, it's a mess. Okay, this is the Makeup Forever Face Sculpting Palette. Now let's talk about this. Every skin tone will be able to use this in some way. It just depends how much you can use it depending on your skin tone and what you would use it for. For me personally, I use like these two shades as concealer. I can mix a couple shades for foundation. Some of these warmer shades I can use as bronzer. I can use this as a contour. These also have a bit of a shimmer to them, so I use them as highlighter. Um, this shade actually I can use as a blush. I don't know if it's picking up on camera, but there's like just the littlest bit of pink to it, and so I can kind of use that as a bronzy blush almost. I am traveling in a couple weeks. I think this is pretty much all I'm gonna take with me for um, like foundation and concealer. I think this is mega gonna cut down my makeup bag and I'm just obsessed with it. Am I out of focus? Okay, and then while we're on the topic of convenience, this is by Hindash. It's called the Beautopsy Palette. Look at this. It is a bunch of different shades and they're all gradients in the pan. So you can basically get a zillion different uses out of this. Eyeliner, contour, bronzer, blush, eyeshadow, eyebrows. I did basically a whole face. I did a video where I used this and this on TikTok and did my entire face with it. So these two things I am just adoring. Now this is hair care and I don't talk about hair care that often, but this product blew my mind after the first time I used this and I used it like a bunch of times in a row because I was just stunned by how good it is. This is the Colleen Rothschild Quench and Shine Restorative Mask. Now this says you can use it as a daily conditioner or you can use it as a conditioning treatment. And I basically just been using this every few washes. When I tell you my hair has never been so soft, it smells kind of nice too. When I tell you my hair has never been so soft, it has never felt so just like nourished and hydrated. It's helped the ends of my hair not look so raggedy like they always do this is worth every penny in my opinion it's incredible my husband was even like touching my hair and he's like why does your hair feel so good and i said this hair mess next up how cool is this packaging oh there's a hair <laughs> okay next up these are by a brand that i wasn't even familiar with a few months ago it's called kaleidos like kaleidoscope kaleidos and these are the um, they call them highlighting powders, but it's basically a matte brightening powder. They remind me of the KKW under eye brightening powders that were so good and, you know, went away. This is in the shade medium. I can also use light depending on, like right now I'd actually probably use light because I'm so pale. But these are incredible. Such a good job of brightening. Really lightweight under the eyes. And then look, I love this because one of the brightening powders comes with some contour powders as well. Oh, there you can see how messy my makeup table is. But it comes with the brightening powder and some contour powders, and these are just the most perfect cool tone contours. I'm really impressed by the formula, the brand. I've tried more from this brand since then, and everything has just been 
so good. Okay, next up we have a complexion item. This is the Perfect Cover BB Cream by a brand called Misha. And I actually get this on Amazon. This went viral on TikTok. And this brand, Misha, has been around for a while. It's a K-beauty brand, I believe. And when I tell you this is the most beautiful, luminous, radiant, but also skin-like BB cream. It has, I would say, light to medium coverage, but it's, it's buildable. Um, and it is just gorgeous. I wasn't expecting to like this as much as I did. And I think I only paid $14 for this. But since I got it, it's been one of my go-tos. It's in the shade Warm Beige. Uh, they definitely need more shades, I will say that. Um, but it's really, really nice. It's a beautiful texture. Let's put some on my hand here and it just blends out beautifully. It's a gorgeous finish. It looks like you just drank a gallon of water, basically. It's not too heavy on the skin. You can just see how, how pretty that finish is. See, so yeah, I'm loving this, and if I can get it on Amazon, I love it even more. So there's that. The last thing I wanna talk about is the Dew Blushes from Say Beauty. I know these have been out for a while, but I just fell in love with these in the last couple of months, and I use one of them every single day. Rosy is like my go-to shade, but I also use, I think there's like a, pe a peach one, maybe it's called Peachy, and then there's one called Chili. Um, I use those two also, but Rosy is my go-to. This is the most perfect, radiant, luminous blush. It has a lot of pigment, but still blends out really well and just looks so gorgeous on the skin and I've used these on clients as well and it just looks so good on everyone. They are like the healthy liquid blush. Um, so this is definitely worth a shot if you haven't tried them. <sighs> I survived my first video. We kept it short, we kept it cute, but we talked about some good things. I'm gonna have a lot more educational content coming to you guys, but I kinda just wanted to break the ice today. If you've made it this far, like this video, please subscribe and comment below anything that you feel like I should try or any of your favorite products that have like really blown you away recently because I always wanna try new things. So, okay, I love you, bye.